Hi everybody, hope you're well. This video is requested by the Sunny Doggy. In this video, I'm going to be looking at all the different horse breeds. Now, I've gone on to International to do this because International is a huge range of horses in Kern, Paris, and the likes of UK or some of the smaller servers. So, in all, um, right now, uh, International Horse has 33 horse breeds. It has 10 uh, pony breeds, two draft, and just then the donkeys as well. So, those are all the different uh, ranges of breeds at the moment. So I'm just going to quickly go through them. I'll start off with the ponies. You will see some similarities as we go through here. So here's the Australian pony, for example. Um, and there's the Sun Katig pony. Then you've got the Connemara. Now, you'll start to see graphics, similar looking graphics or identical graphics. So there's the Fjord as well. So there's the Halflinger. As you notice, that's actually the same graphic as, if I can find it now, the Sun Katig pony. So there are um, certain ones that have similar graphics but some of them have different coat colors so it's not necessarily that they're completely identical some of them have different uh, coat colors so there you have the half flinger then you have the highland pony uh, the new newfoundland pony quarter pony as you can see that's the same as the connemara pony in graphics but it has a much much larger um, array of colors than the connemara pony does then you got the shetlands and the Welsh, which you notice that the Welsh is all similar to the Australian pony that we looked at at the start. So you can see that there, there's quite a lot of breeds but in the pony section, but a lot of them have very similar graphics. I'd like them to change that feature, but I don't know if it will ever happen. So then we've got the draft breeds. So we've got two draft breeds right now, which is the Pershawn and the Cher. They have unique graphics, unique to them right now. There's no other horses that have those graphics. Then we've got the donkeys. Um, they have their own unique graphic. Um, nothing else has that because there's only the one type of donkey. And then moving into the horse breeds, you'll start to see a lot of crossover here. There will be a lot of horses with the exact same graphics, but once again, the colours tend to be different. And also the skill sets is another thing to mention. The skill sets aren't necessarily the same. So you've got the Alcatigi, you've got the Appaloosa, uh, you've got the Arab horse, Arab Arabian horse. You've got the Argentinian Corolli, which you will notice was the same as the Appaloosa, but the coats between the Argentinian Corolli and the Appaloosa are very different. Then you've got the Barb, the Brumby, Canadian Horse, Curly. The Curly has a unique coat as far as I remember. There's no other coat on the game that has this Curly action which is unique to that particular breed. So then you've got the Frisian and the Frisians have their own uh, graphic. Then you've got the Gypsy Vanners, you've got the Hackney, Hanoverians, Holsteiners. Now you'll start to see like not a variant, Holsteiner. You can never tell the difference. Colors are very similar too, but um, there are a few differences. Then you got the Icelandic horse, Irish Hunter. Yet again, that looks exactly like the Hanavari and the Holsteiner. Then you got the Candida from the PN. Looks exactly like the Hunter, but slightly different colors and different skill sets. You got the Knob Stripper. You got the Lip and Sound. Um, you've got the Lusitano, which you can see is. Identical to the on and look. Then you've got the Mawari. Now there's one thing really interesting about the Mawari, the ears. And it looks exactly like the Alcatiki except for the ears. And the ears are unique to the actual breed, so that's why that's there. So it's sort of similar to the curly and the fact that the curly has a curly coat. So then you've got the Morgan, which looks like the Knobstripper. You've got the Mustangs, you got Nakotas, Paint Horses, which sort of um you, you see similarities between them and the Argentilian Corolli and the paint horses. Then you have the Peruvian Paso and the purebred Spanish horse. You can see basically identical graphics yet again. Then you get the quarter horse, which echoes back to some of the ones mentioned earlier. Um, Russian Dawn horse looks like Irish Hunter, Hano, Holsteiner, KWPN, for example. Then you get the Shaggy Arabian, which looks exactly like the Arabian horse. And then you get the Standard Bread, which looks like the Nam, for example. Um, the Tignese Walker, which looks exactly like a French trotter. And then you've got the Thoroughbred. And then finally, we have the Trichaner. The Trichaner looks slightly different. Um, you can see some similarities between it and some of the other graphics, but it's just a wee bit different. So those are the breeds that you can get right now. 
um, on international. I do expect there to be more in future, but I would love to see them um, change the graphics and make each breed have its own unique ones. It's not so bad on some of the small servers where you maybe don't have the massive range, so you have horses that look different. But on some of the bigger servers where you've got um, a lot of horses with identical graphics, it can be kind of confusing sometimes. So I would like to see that. That would be nice as an update to get um, unique coats for every particular breed. I think that would be a really lovely update to get. Don't know if we'll ever have it because we've always had duplications over the years in uh, terms of how they look. So anyway, thank you to the Sunny Doggy for requesting the video and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye guys!